Hello and welcome to the episode of Limitless Brain Lab. This is Dr. Shweta Aradhya. I joke and I say I'm a brain plumber, aka a neurologist. I fix broken brains. Today's episode, we are going to talk about something which you and me continue to do. And we do it every single day. And it is procrastination. You and me, without our awareness and knowledge, we procrastinate. So what is it inside the brains of a procrastinator? How do we stop procrastinating? What are certain neuroscience norms and laws which we can use to avoid the procrastination? Let us see the percentage of the people who procrastinate. You guessed it right, it is 95% of the people. What is happening in the brain of a procrastinator? Why do they procrastinate? Let us learn the art of not procrastinating. But first, let us understand why do we need to procrastinate? I want you to remember this wonderful law in the brain. It's called the Parkinson's law. If you understand this law, a lot of your life will become easy. What does the Parkinson's law state? It states that the work fills the time that you have. For example, I wanted to do a task of preparation and I have two hours. It will exactly use two hours to complete the task. Now, the same task, no changes, and I give myself six hours that I will land up doing the task for six hours. This is how the brain behaves. So the first and the most fundamental for not procrastinating is understanding this tasking. When do I need to complete a task? In how much time do I need to complete the task? And have I made up my mind and given that command to the brain to do the task? So if you have understood this, let us also understand why the procrastination happens. The brain is the laziest of organs. It takes in 25% of oxygen but does not like to work. It likes to be in the comfort zone. It is always about not pushing the things. It is always about procrastination. It is about not attending to a task because it does not want to work. Now the brain has three parts and if you have not seen our previous videos, please do because this is fundamentally important and necessary. There's a small little brain stem. After that, there is an emotional brain, also called the limbic brain, and then I have the prefrontal cortex or the frontal cortex. Now, in the rats and small little reptiles, it takes about 5 to 7% of the frontal cortex. Slightly mammalian, uh, slightly going in the hierarchy, mammalians and chimpanzees, etc., has about 20% of the frontal cortex. But you and me have 40% of the frontal cortex. But what happens is, most of the times we are not firing that cortex. We are working with the limbic system, which means I want to run away. I don't want to do. I want to be in the comfort zone. I'm constantly scanning for the threats where I can avoid a certain things. And the prefrontal cortex is all about, let's do it now. Let's focus. Let's give all our attention. Let's make it happen. Most of the times, this little guy who is the limbic pain is not willing to give up the comfort. It's fearful. So if you were to make the list of all the things why you procrastinate, one of the interesting things will come as fear. I don't want to do a task. What if I fail? What if I don't do it successfully? What if I can't make it happen? And that fear of failure stops you from doing the task. I also want you to make an audit of all the other things that you procrastinate. Most likely it will be paying for a bill, it will be booking a ticket. <clears throat> Some of the menial tasks, also the brain likes to shun it away. The brain does not like to perform. What else can be the fundamentals? Why do we procrastinate? So when a very long study was done to understand why people are procrastinating, what is the reason why the people are procrastinating? Let me share with you that particular study. There were five important things which were found in this study. The first was the failure as we discussed. The second was what if I'm imperfect? So I don't start a task because I want everything to be perfect. That is the reason why I don't perform the task. Third is I'm already overwhelmed. You know, I have so many tasks that I'm doing and hence I procrastinate. The fourth is we feel certain tasks which I just described like uh, paying a bill, or answering a certain email, etc., is menial in my brain. There's no meaning to it, and hence I procrastinate. And the last and important thing is we feel that delegation is easy. I would just delegate it to somebody else, and hence it will go off my uh, head. But remember that sometimes some important tasks 
if not delegated well can also come back as more problematic issues and your time will more be consumed more and your time will now be consumed more so what do we do to beat this procrastination now this particular limbic system that we spoke about has to be quietened we have to make sure that we build our pfc if you have not seen our movers video please go ahead and watch the movers video because five minutes of each of the movers component is helping you build the prefrontal cortex there's a very nice book called the chin paradox where they talk about this little chin which is the limbic system which goes on doing all the tantrums it needs a banana it needs to be caged it needs to be tamed for most of us procrastination is because this particular chimpanzee is not tamed it is always throwing up the excuses always fearful always wanting to run away always wanting to avoid but peak performers, successful people, people who make it in life, learn to overcome the tantrums of this particular chip. Hi, this is Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya. Welcome all of you to Dubai in November 15th and 16th. We are going to have a massive and explosive learning, which is from the top stalwarts across the globe. We have Dr. Krishnesh Mehta joining, Dr. Val Alino. We have Dr. Kalai Cherian, who's a memory expert, Ashtavadan. All this is happening on 15th and 16th of November, a retreat one of a kind, one of a kind to elevate your brain game. If you have been struggling with memory, this is the place to be. We will be showcasing a beautiful brain booth where you can experiment how to improve your focus, attention, relaxation. All this is happening. Grab your seats because we are just going to have only 50 invitations for the retreat. It's just at a mere 500 US dollar until the 30th of June. So welcome each and every one of you in a beautiful, amazing five-star beach resort in Dubai in UAE. Welcome from the Limitless Brain Lab and personally from me, Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya. So let's go ahead and see the five important things how you can avoid procrastination. The very first formula is Pomodoro Technique. Before you get into a task, understand that I'm going to give an X amount of the time for the task and set up a clock. If your brain is aware that clock is running, this is the time that I need to finish the task, it will perform that task. Pomodoro is quite an efficient technique to overcome procrastination. Second thing is, even before you start the task, give your brain a little carrot. If you like coffee, if you are like tea, if you want to focus on attention, talk to your brain saying, hey, I'm giving you a cup of caffeine I want you to finish this work in this particular task. Take a glass of water, you hydrate your brain and you feel good. The third thing that you remember is do the shitty draft first. The very first time it's going to be messy. You are never going to be perfect because this is your first time the brain is trying something. Remember, imperfectness initially is perfectly fine because that is the way how you have now pushed the brain to getting to do the task. Fourth important point is take the help of friend. Sometimes you're not able to complete a task, but if you sit with somebody, even a difficult looking task can become easy. I had to go through certain Excel sheet and I had to read the data. I'm not that focused and concentrated to read the data because I don't like the data. For example, if this was you, what you do is pick up a friend of yours who loves reading data, who loves to elaborate, to read all those elaborate sheets, get together and make it as a focused task. The fifth and the last important things to avoid procrastination is boxing your days and boxing your time. Time boxing, day boxing, hour boxing, these are some very powerful techniques. What do I mean when I say day boxing? For example, I have my boxed days. Certain days I speak with you, so there's a specific day. Certain days I see my patients, it's a fixed box day. Certain days I write and read about the content, research, that is my box day. So when my brain is already wired, when my brain understands these are the tasks that I need to do in a particular day, I'm already prepared. So making sure that that thing is wired in the brain is extremely important. When I say time boxing, I have certain times when I reach out to WhatsApp. Do not try to distract yourself with hundreds of zillions of other things which are happening around you. Every single person is trying to grab your attention. May it be social media, may it be your friends, may it be your bosses, emails, notifications, buyers, sellers. 
the entire world right now is in a state of constant constant inattention because of the demand of attention so when there is demand of attention you need to find you your circuits that this is the time that i attend to my whatsapp this is the time for my social media be constantly aware that if i am going to use it for one hour that and that's it i have predetermined my brain is pre prepared this time boxing also helps quite a bit and very interesting thing that i do also in my life is a quarter of the year boxing start visualizing start preparing your brain that this is how i am going to do a certain task it may be a very difficult task it may be a task which is almost seemingly impossible and you are trying to procrastinate it but sit take a deep breath feel it visualize it because the brain does not understand between visualization and the real task there was an experiment which was done for the piano players one group was actually playing the piano and the second group was visualizing the playing of the keynotes and what did the scientists observe after 3 months both the brain groups had the exact same growth of the brain how was this possible how was the mental visualization and notes leading them to have the same brain growth this was possible because visualization is powerful it creates the chemicals the circuits that you need so for example in a year you want to achieve something and this is very important for students for executives for performers for people who want to be successful not been able to be successful i want to achieve a certain task i box my quarter that i am going to do certain tasks in this quarter and i'm already visualizing doing that right now let's say it's a 2026 first quarter but i start to do it here and now my brain circuits are now prepared are now prepped up for doing that task so if you are suffering from procrastination first of all make a list of all the things that you are procrastinating about and if the tasks are seemingly menial which you can delegate start delegating those tasks start creating a method in which you can offload your brain of small little decisions elon musk uh, mark zuckerberg raj shamani people like them are you will see them wearing over and over the same t-shirts and why is that so because they don't want to expend their energy or spend their energy for decisions taking a lot of decisions means a lot of cognitive load In the good old days, we used to have about two to three thousand micro decisions per day, and today's time it has become twenty to thirty thousand micro decisions. There's a huge leap and huge jump when it comes to these decisions. So, what do you and me have to do? Minimize the decisions that you can. Try to work out your life in such a way that you can delegate certain tasks. Remove the distractions before you start your work. Parkinson's law. Use the time dedicated for that work. Use the Pomodoro technique. Clock that work that you are going to do. Have an accountability person who will ask you about that task. Make the imperfect task first. Go ahead then edit it. Use the top of the tools such as AI right now. I love AI in a way that it is getting away a lot of redundant manual seemingly writing tasks which otherwise was not possible. However, please do use everything wisely you should never lose your creativity your empathy your compassion these soft skills are very important in the age of ai this was my takeaway and take home for the procrastination remember to share that list also in the comment box because if you are procrastinating a certain task let's all learn from each other and see the statistics that we are all no different 95% of the times you and me will be doing that either out of failure out of incompetency out of imperfection that you want to hide out of the laziness of the brain and out of that chin which just wants to be in a happy zone want to do all the tantrum because of the fear and the fight and the flight and the freeze and does not want to take a decision so go ahead and do everything that is right for you we will be bringing these kind of research for you so that your brain remains in a healthy and happy state at the limitless brain lab we want the best of the brains to be crafted for the generations we want amazing neuro parenting strategies to be discussed we want to bridge science and spirituality and most important thing take care of your brain health and wealth all together so thank you so much for the patient listening i'm dr shweta aratya now signing off at the limitless brain lab